Okay. <coughs> um, I will do a uh, very short uh, demonstration of the uh, the messaging extension I've been making. You guys know know it, but well, I just want to show in a, <coughs> in a few seconds uh, what it could do. <coughs> I'm in the access database. I log in. I'm admin. No password. Watch out. Don't do this at home. Um, I have the messaging replication extension, which gives an, an, an UI with some, um, 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 with some documentation, blah, blah, blah. And under here, I have some ready to go functions. And I will show you how it uh, uh, would work. So basically, for to demonstrate the um, um, messaging extension, you have to think of that uh, there are actually two parts. We have a receiver part and we have a sender part. First, I will show you how a uh, message, uh, how messages can be received. For this, um, the actual function is rather uh, easy. We have a function where we can register a callback function, and the call function fu function is defined with the uh, higher order callback uh, features that has been implemented uh, some time ago. Uh, we have a configuration section, and basically I'm connecting here with an ActiveMQ server on localhost. And when a message is coming in, this is the part that will be handling the, 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 the content, and I will uh, fire this up in Excide and remove this line. Click on Eval, and we have listener one running for any messages. Then we can go to the send message section, which is much more easy. The pattern is again it's the same. We have a, con a configuration part, some uh, standard blah blah blah. Again, we are connecting with an uh, ActiveMQ server on localhost. Um, we have some arbitrary properties we can send over. So basically, we have a concept of an, uh, um, a payload and about message properties. And what we basically will do, we will send 10 messages with the payload would be just having the number of the message and we will be sending it to the JMS uh, broker. So, uh, let me check where is Excite. Uh, too many windows. Okay, so here we have, oops, <laughs> oops, <laughs> we have here the, something that would listen to the uh, uh, standard out, because what I did do in this small demonstration, everything is locked uh, in here. Mm -hmm, uh -um, uh -um, um. Too many windows. Okay, I fire this also up in Excite. Being an admin, I'm allowed to do anything. Press the eval. Um, so I have 10 messages sent, and this is a short transcript of what's being uh, done. So all kind of uh, time to live and JMS message ID kind of stuff are all uh, uh, echoed here you can use for uh, diagnostics. And if we now look at the console, Uh, 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 crap. Wolfgang, please could you make this uh, window not modal because I never can find it back. 
the uh, this one. <laughs> no, okay, well, I but in short, you have here three blocks of messages, basically saying uh, what, what has been re uh, received. We have uh, value AS5 as an integer value coming in. We have strings being sent over. Um, some information, who did the actual sending. Um, basically, any of the uh, standard um, uh, XML types can be sent over in there in, in, in their in their good form. It's uh, pretty fast, and if you start working on it, it's pretty easy to use. And that is actually the only thing I could show to you now. Yeah.